Hello friends, in this video we shall see the installation procedure of NetBeans IDE, whatever platform you might be using, how to install NetBeans into your system. If you go on the downloads page of the NetBeans, netbeans.org downloads URL, you will see that there are different bundles of NetBeans available. You can choose any you know, package or bundle that suits your requirement. For instance, a core NetBeans IDE, which is only using Java SE, you know, support. It supports all the standards SE development uh, uh, features, which means you can, you, you can create a console application or a desktop application using Java SE and Java FX. So that is a core NetBeans IDE software so to say. You can also have a, another package or bundle which is supporting Java EE or Enterprise Edition. So it provides tools for developing the SE as well as EE based applications. It also includes because EE application is essentially a web based application. So therefore it will require a web enabled server. So Glassfish application server is by default included in this bundle. You also have the option to install the Apache Tomcat software and the enterprise edition part of the Java JDK is available on this Glassfish application server as well as the Apache Tomcat server. Then there is another bundle which is containing the HTML5 and JavaScript support. It provides the tools for HTML and JavaScript development. So you can develop a web, web application which is based upon HTML5 as well as JavaScript. Then there is a bundle which includes the PHP part. It provides the tools for PHP 7 which is the latest version of PHP, the PHP 7 development. And it also in, includes or incorporates a very popular web framework called as Zend and Symfony frameworks are also included in it. NetBeans can also be used for C and C++ development. So C, C++ bundle is also present. It supports the development in C, C++. Qt is a very popular GUI library. It can be used for Fortran and assembly language development also. So if you are interested in that bundle, you can download this. All these above bundles are included in an all uh, you know option all bundle this is a full download option it includes everything while you know installing you can choose any of these options one or more than one options so that your application development environment is ready for you so these are the different options of bundles then we go on to see how the NetBeans IDE can be installed on different platforms. For Windows, it is a very easy uh, you know, option. It is very easy to install NetBeans IDE on Windows platform because it provides you a simple installer executable file. Single executable is there. You just have to start the installation, follow the wizard, give the different uh, options like what, what is the source directory or the destination directory where the uh, different servers are to be installed, all you have to provide these options, it will be ready for use on Windows. For Linux, the installer, the file that is to be installed or the when you download it for the Linux, the installer file has a sh extension dot sh, which means that it is a shell script. So naturally, if you are a Linux user, you must know that this shell script must be first made and executable by using this particular Linux command. So you have to change the mode to executable ch mode plus x. This is the name of the installer file that will be downloaded from the downloads page. Convert it into an executable by offering or providing a plus x attribute to the ch mode and then use this ch file to install, start installation by running that installation file by this Linux command. So it will again follow the, follow the wizard, provide the different uh, parameters, 
for the where the NetBeans ID must be installed, where must be the server installed, all these you have to provide. Again, it is a wizard based application. For Mac OS, the installer file contains a DMG extension. .dmg is the you know, package extension for Mac softwares. So when the DMG is .dmg file is you know downloaded, when you double click that, on the panel that opens, the package icon you have to click the package icon, the package has the .pkg extension. So the pkg extension, if you click on that, the installation will again take its own course and install the NetBeans in the Mac OS. So whether you are on Windows or Linux or Mac, you can follow these instructions to set up your computer for NetBeans IDE and development in Java or PHP or any other uh, you know language projects what i will do is i have already installed uh, you know downloaded the windows installer i will show you how the netbeans ide is installed in a windows based computer so that i will show you with the help of a practical demonstration so the java ee environment in your local machine requires two things one the java se Currently, the Java SE has a version 8. So, you have to get this downloaded into your computer. JDK 8, the current version is 8U121. So, this you have to first download and install. And then you also have to install a suitable IDE for the development of Java EE based projects. There are different you know, IDEs that are available. As I told you, the NetBeans is the official IDE as recognized by Oracle. So you see a download available here, which is a combination or a combo pack, so to say, of NetBeans and JDK 8. So either you get, get downloaded this and install. So in that case, you will not require this. Or you separately install the JDK 8 and get downloaded this. NetBeans from the NetBeans download page. You can see that there are different you know packages of NetBeans available depending on the requirement. These are the different elements which form the NetBeans software. If you only want the SE version, I mean the development environment for only SE software or SE programs, Java EE requires these different elements and so on. The best way is to go for this all which, which has all the elements included in it. So click on this download. This is about 221 megabytes. So obviously it will take some time. So either way you can do, you can get the combo pack of NetBeans with JDK 8 or individually JDK 8 and NetBeans. So whichever is suitable for you, you, you can go about uh, downloading and installing it. So download links are here. I have already downloaded these two softwares and now we will uh, go ahead with the installation procedure. Okay. So these two are the required download files, the installers, one for JDK 8 and one for NetBeans. So the JDK it is already installed in the in this machine. So I will not show you how to install. It is just a matter of uh, you know invoking this exe and choosing the defaults that will be presented to you. Okay. So that is one thing. Now start installing the NetBeans 8.2 in your in this machine. So in order to start, I'll just press enter. Just give the uh, you know. Uh, permission to install. This is also a fairly straightforward procedure. Most of the options that may be presented will have to be chosen as a default. Say for example here, this is, this is the default selection that is provided to you. You can customize the installation by clicking on this customize button. See this base IDE, Java, SE, these are all 
chosen by default. If you want, you can remove, if you do not intend to use NetBeans for development of PHP or C and C++, you can remove this. And the runtime that are available, one is the Glassfish server and the other is Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat is not selected by default. If you want to, you can select this and press OK. So, go to the next step. This is just a license agreement. These are all the installation locations. Unless you specifically need, uh, you, you do not have to change the defaults that are provided. Same thing is with the location of the Glassfish and Tomcat. These are all the options that you have selected and just start installing. It is a fairly big software, so obviously it will take some time. So, you have to be little patient and you have to also ensure that the installation procedure does, does not disrupt in between. So, sit back and uh, you know watch the installation in progress. If at the time of installation you are connected to the internet, it will also check and install the updates also, updates from the last you know point when this exe was built. If at all there are any updates, they will also be incorporated. That is it. You can also choose to you know tick this uh, option contribute to the NetBeans project by providing an anonym, anonymous usage data. So, that uh, it will be helpful for the NetBeans organization to uh, you know sort of uh, debugging and all. Okay. So, just finish. So, the installation is complete. Now, to invoke this, let us see how to, ins uh, how to start NetBeans. So this is the opening view of your NetBeans IDE. Click on this file and new project. This will give you the different uh, types of projects that you can build. As far as uh, our servlets are concerned, you click on this Java web and then click on web, web application. All these steps will be you know, guiding you to build a project. Okay, so that's how you go on initializing a web project and then fill up the code into it and so on. So that we will see when actually we build a hello world uh, you know servlet program. For now, this is how the installation procedure is to be completed.